In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, a warm welcome to you from us here at St Barnabas Church here in Hove. On this Sunday, the parish mass has been restored to 11 o'clock, uh, to which uh, all are welcome. But we will still be streaming a mass for all those who cannot yet attend in person. And this mass will be here in the Lady Chapel. In the Gospel today, uh, Jesus invites us to bring our burdens to him and he will give us rest. As we gather together, wherever we are, let us come to him in a spirit of love and trust. One of the burdens the Lord relieves us of is the burden of our sins. So let us pause and acknowledge them with humility and confidence. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. The Lord says this, Rejoice heart and soul, daughter of Zion. Shout with gladness, daughter of Jerusalem. See now your king comes to you. He is victorious. He is triumphant, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt the foal of a donkey. He will banish chariots from Ephraim, and horses from Jerusalem. The bow of war will be banished. He will proclaim peace for the nations. His empire shall stretch from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless your name forever, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever, my God, my King. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. I will bless your name forever, O God, my King. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all creatures. I will bless your name forever, O God, my King. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. 
they shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. I will bless your name for ever, O God, my King. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. I will bless your name for ever, O God, my King. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. Your interests are not in the unspiritual, but in the spiritual, since the Spirit of God has made his home in you. In fact, unless you possessed the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to him. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his Spirit living in you. So then, my brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual selves or to live unspiritual lives. If you do live in this way, you are doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put an end to the misdeeds of the body, you will live. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever, and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. These are amongst the loveliest words in the Gospel. Life can be very burdensome. There are all kinds of burdens, worries, responsibilities, disappointments, hurts, bitterness, guilt, illness, unemployment, a difficult relationship, addiction. The list goes on and on. And for all of us, these past months have had great burden on us, with stress, with worry, with anxiety that's added to that list. Today, many people are taken for granted. There are many in the world who will be suffering the result of this pandemic because of hardship and of unemployment. Many are taken for granted. They are valued not for themselves, but only for the service that they provide. Many are noticed only when they are missing. The scribes and the Pharisees lived a privileged existence. They had no understanding of what life was like for ordinary people. With their emphasis on the exact observance of the law, and their rules and their regulations, placing impossible burdens on people at the time. During the years at Nazareth, 
Jesus lived among ordinary people. For many years, he lived the life as a working man. He knew at first hand the struggles, the difficulties, the frustrations that ordinary people had to endure. He was aware of the heavy burdens life placed on their shoulders. Consequently, he felt for ordinary people and wanted to lighten their burdens. People came to him from all quarters with their burdens of sickness and with misery. All of them had their burdens lightened as a result of that encounter with Jesus. His mere presence brought peace to an anguished soul. Regarding his own burden, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. How could he, who took on himself the burdens of so many, say that? But it was because he carried his burden with love. Only love can make a heavy burden seem light. But there are some burdens which may be baggage and we could let go of. And I'm sure that over these past few months, I think it has taught us a lesson as to what is essential in life and what is not. There is a story of a holy man in India who was going on a spiritual journey with a heavy bag on his back. On his deathbed, he passes on the bag to his disciple. When the disciple opens the bag, he finds that it's empty. He wonders why it weighs so much. And the old man says, it is the weight of everything in my life that I didn't need to carry. Our religion should not make life burdens, burdensome. If Jesus placed any burden on us all, it was that of loving one another, treating people with respect and appreciating them. But if we have love, then we have no burden at all. He doesn't take our burdens from us, but he gives us the strength to carry them. While faith makes all things possible, love makes all things easy. Amen. Amen. Let us now profess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. We pray for the church that it may all <coughs> we pray for the church that it may always be a sign of your loving presence and a sign of hope even in the darkest times for Martin our bishop for all faithful bishops priests and deacons and all who hold and teach the Catholic faith handed down to us from the Apostles we pray especially at this time for those who are celebrating anniversaries of ordination and those who are preparing for ordination whose ordinations have been postponed due to Covid. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority and direct this nation and every nation in the ways of justice and peace that we may all honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community, for our families, friends and neighbours. Today, especially for those who live on Coleridge Street and Carlisle Road. May your, may your promise of love, your spirit of hope and reconciliation Bind us together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for the sick and suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus. We pray for all those who work in the NHS, in hospitals and care homes. Among those who have asked for our prayers, we remember Ruth Butcher, Tim Garfield, David Aldry, Colin Blackwire, Voz Grant, Alex and Colin Wilshire, Janice Fairbrace, Peggy Smith, Natasha Banks, Christopher Bold, Leon Decker, Sue Carrick, Joyce Campbell, David Duell, Father Lawrence McLean, Joe Barber, and Maureen Bruce. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died, those whose faith in the resurrection has been rewarded. We pray for all those who have died this day and those who will die this night. Especially we remember the recently departed Peter Dallimere and Winifred Norris, those whose anniversary of death occurs this week, for Hannah Standen, Winifred Barnes, Maureen Theobald, Sandra Quackinus, Bernard Maddox, priest, Marcus Riggs, priest, David Lewis, priest, and Muriel Myers. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. May light perpetual shine upon them. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Our Lady Mary, the Mother of God, with St Barnabas, St Agnes and St Philip, we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
this day, O Lord God, all creation through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through this, his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvellous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in our eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in our eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, with Martin, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that I should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all you who labour and overburden says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, thank you for joining us here at St Barnabas for our Sunday worship. The wonderful news is that St Barnabas Church is now open for public worship on Sundays at 11 o'clock and for private prayer during the week. On, from Tuesdays to Fridays, 12 noon to 2 
and Saturdays and Sundays from 10.30 till 12.30. The Masses in the week will be um, at 12.30 and on Saturday and Sundays they will be at 11. May God bless you all and please stay safe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.